Effective image decolorization is required in several applications. The widely used standard color to gray conversion only uses the luminance channel to decolorize an image. When isoluminant regions are mapped onto the same gray level, the global appearance is changed and fine detail is lost. In this work, we introduce an alternative decolorization strategy built on image fusion principles. Image fusion is a well studied technique which has found many practical applications. However, we are the first to develop a fusion based decolorization technique. The inputs for our algorithm are the three independent RGB channels and one additional input that conserves the color contrast based on the Helmholtz Kohlrausch effect. For each of these inputs, we define three weight maps to ensure that local contrast effects are simultaneously accounted for. Our first weight measure aims to preserve the original saliency. The second weight map advantages the well-exposed regions, while the chromatic weight map enhances the color contrast in addition to the effect of the HK input. To minimize artifacts that can be introduced by these weight maps, our approach is designed in a multiscale fashion by using a Laplacian pyramid of the inputs combined with Gaussian pyramids of the normalized weights. The final gray image is obtained by summing up the fused contributions of all the inputs. Our method is fast, and despite of its simplicity in many cases, it outperforms more complex and computationally expensive techniques. Our technique is also able to decolorize videos in a consistent fashion. In general, the standard technique is not able to accurately render the original appearance. For example, notice the conversion of the sun and the field texture in the cartoon footage. Our fusion-based operator, on the other hand, is able to preserve both the original discriminability and saliency. Notice our conversion result of the red flower. Even for this challenging synthetic video, our technique is well able to preserve the temporal coherence. Notice the artifacts introduced by Smith et al's technique, but also the aleatory grayscale mapping yielded by Grundland and Dodgen's method. 